hello and welcome back today we'll be talking about the cycle property and the cycle property is used to prove the reverse delete strategy for finding the minimum spanning tree if you have not subscribed yet please do remember to subscribe um, like share comment with your friends on this episode we'll be talking about the cycle property the cycle property is based on the fact that a tree cannot have cycles so when you have a given graph of course a graph has cycles right but when we want to find a minimum spanning tree which is a tree it does not have cycles so once we find that we have a cycle we remove the most expensive edge to make it a tree so the cycle property is based on the fact that a tree does not have a cycle and once we have edges that form a cycle, we remove the most expensive edge so that we have a minimum spanning tree. Let's um, take an illustration. So supposing we have a cycle, uh, let's call it C in our graph. Um, and our, um, our graph has, let's consider an edge, EVW. And let's us call this the costliest edge. Let this, let this be the costliest edge. And we are going to consider this subset of vertices. Let's call this S. Subset of vertices V. Let's call this S. And this will be V minus S. And there are points here. Just uh, random points. Random vertices as the case may be. Now let's connect this. From this point to this point let's say that there exists this edge and there exists let's say there exists this edge e which is the costliest edge but at some points we attach another edge let's say this edge goes from here to here e prime which is a cheaper edge that means e is costlier is a costlier edge than e prime so we can say that if e is a costlier edge than e prime and we are looking for a minimum spanning tree we would have to remove e and when we remove e we will still have e prime which is a cheaper edge connecting x and v minus s to state this properly let's state this properly we are going to say we want to prove that E, which is the costliest edge, cannot be part of the MST. So what we're trying to prove is that we want to prove that E cannot be part of the MST. Now let's consider a minimum spanning tree. Let's call it T. And the minimum spanning tree um consists of um let's say t plus e the the most expensive the costliest edge when we attach a prime we say t plus e uh, plus a prime forms a cycle and to make it um a minimum spanning tree we want to remove the costliest edge and since e is the costliest edge we have that um, we have another we have only t and e prime remaining so at that point when we remove e um at that point when we remove just e we want to have t and e prime remaining and t and e prime becomes a minimum spanning tree to write down this proof more elegantly, uh, we want to use both our illustration, this illustration, and a proof by exchange technique. And in the proof by exchange technique, we are just simply going to introduce another edge, that is the E prime. Once we introduce uh, the other edge, E prime, we say, since we've introduced E prime, E prime is an edge, E is an edge, but E is more expensive. We just exchange. We remove e 
we are left with a prime which is the cheapest edge and this makes this a tree this is a tree and also a minimum spanning tree i hope um you enjoyed this video from the next videos would we'll start solving examples that have to do with strategies of uh, finding our msts and how to prove them uh, more elegantly so i'll see you on the next one